Hey guys, what is up? Finger Pops here coming to you live from Nebraska as always doing that Minecraft thing in our Minecraft Let's Play world with a beautiful sunset behind us and a nice farm to the left and right of us. And we are back for episode number four. This episode, we are going to be working with cows. Moo! Yes, we have tons of those in Nebraska, and I'm quite familiar with the cow species. But first, let's recap on what we did last episode. Now, before I go over that and show you some of the things I've been working on between episodes, uh, I highly encourage you to go back and watch that episode. But let's begin. Uh, last episode... We built this farm up here. It, it looks very nice, I believe. Uh, I think you guys liked it. And I'm just about got enough seeds to fill this all up. I'm just waiting for all these plants to grow because I have, well, one pork chop on me. But that, back down at our little mushroom hut that we built in the second episode, uh, we uh, I have some wheat down there. We also built this very nice organic-looking uh path here. I'm, I'm going to just sneak a torch right down there to light down that area. Uh, we built this nice organic looking path that I have now continued. But before I show you that, let's go gather some sleep. Don't even have to close my door because those monsters know not to bug me. Alright, uh, and I have some wheat in here somewhere. Also, I've been collecting a ton of brick for uh, hardened clay. I love the hardened clay blocks, and I cannot wait to use them, but I have to get the required dyes that I want. I want to use uh, blue uh, in my, yeah, blue in my design because that gives a nice purple color. So I just have to wait, I guess, until I get some lapis lazuli. But I have collected some iron, as I have an iron pickaxe and an iron shovel right here. No! 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 Mushroom! Mush! Mushy! No! No, no, no! That was my mushroom house! Aw, oh, man. Well, time to rebuild. We need to start actually getting closer to actually building a house anyway, so this is just gonna speed up the process. Ah! Dandelions! Or sunflowers, are you okay? Where did I get an extra one at? Extra two, and he blew up one. Oh, that devil! Oh, I always got to watch out for those things, you know. They're always there, always watching. And I'm like, oh, I don't even need to close the door, and he was gonna come in and kill us. All right, let's just kind of, you know, half-ass fix this up here, and uh, we're going to incorporate some leaves now, I guess. This is going to become the leafy mushroom house. There. How does that look? I. Th it looks lovely. Abso absolutely dashing. Oh, and we, we lost a block right there. That gives me a reason to give me those back. That back. And while we're down... It blew up the bed. Ah! And while we're down here... Let's go check on the mushrooms, see how much those have grown, because I have been collecting a ton of materials. Oh, a spider. Nothing? Oh, oh yeah, we're, we're getting some mushrooms to grow. That is very nice. I'm happy about that. Where's that spider at, though? I don't know. Let's get to what we're doing today. Working with cows. You know, the spiders aren't hostile during the day, so yeah. So this path I have continued on down here, and once again, we're sticking to this organic look. These will not be hooked up to here as soon as I get the cows out of here, but instead, we're moving the cows right down in here. And I was just clearing up just this little bit of area to give them more room, because I want our cows to have a nice balance between uh, roaming, I should say, roaming plains. It's just going to be this little cube right here. Oh, wrong, wrong material. And uh, some water, because, you know, cows need a drink. I see so many times online where people don't give their cows anything to drink and it's just so it's so harsh and it's so unruly in this environment and they really do need something to drink so that's what we're doing today and uh... i'm glad that i finally have myself prepared for an entire episode for once i think i, I always think i have myself prepared for an episode but i never really do i want to check how does that look if i don't replace that down there Well underneath me. Can you tell 
that that is wood underneath there. You kind of can. You kind of can. I don't know if I'm going to change every block underneath the wood. Because the wood is, is quite expensive, and I don't want to burn through all our dark oak supplies because you don't get enough saplings back to replenish them. So, uh, just kind of, you know, can, we're going to continue our path down here, and uh, we're going to start mapping out our area here for the rest of our area. And that's off kilter. No off kilterness in my areas. No, none. And that means this is going to have to go fume, fume. Okay. So let's map this out here. Where do we want the cows to sit? Uh, I would like them to start their corner right here. So boom. Get our fences out. Boom. 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 And boom, 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 boom. There we go. And it looks like we've ran out of torches. Yeah, <sighs> I knew I didn't have myself prepared. So let's have this corner go over to here. Yeah, I can deal with that. And let's shave down this tree some. I already shaved it down a little bit, you know, because it's a very blocky tree right here. And we'll just kind of shave off this corner too, just kind of like that, you know, give our tree a nice weird shaving. There we go. Nice shave down tree. And we're going to continue this block out here. It's just going to be a nice square because we can, we can make squares. Squares are nice and easy to make. And you know, our cows should be mountain cows, right? So, uh, this is going to be like a little corner here and our, our path here is probably going to continue up in this direction. So I'm going to just mark that out for future purposes. And let's have that continue right there. Go up to here. Yeah. Yeah, we need to have mountain cows. They need to be nice and fit cows. You know, I like my cows ripe. So that should be nice. And we'll have a post right there, too. All right. And I know I don't have enough fence posts. I, I never make enough fence posts. And I, I need to start making enough fence posts. That was a lot of fence posts in that sentence. Oh, and you know what? That torch can go there because I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get a lot more torches. And I, yeah, definitely do not have enough fence posts and have to remove this because this right here it absolutely bugs me how the fence combines. I wish you can make it a way to where your fence doesn't automatically combine somehow. And I would also like more colored fences. Ah, oh, I would love more colored fences. And, hmm, I'm going to have to make this more original looking because this is this is not going to work. Not going to work. We cannot have our fence connecting to random stuff. It just looks, it doesn't look right, you know. It just, it just, you know what I'm saying. I don't have to explain myself. There was obviously visual backup right there. And, yeah, that looks like I just came in and cut that right there. So we need to make this uh, hill more... Uh, false organic looking, I guess, you know, it's where you can't really tell that a man came in and, and chopped down the forest here, and we, we'll have a couple line up, you know, a couple doesn't bother me, because it still looks man, or it doesn't look as much man-made, there, how does that look, yeah, I can, no, 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 this needs shaved down a lot right here, there you go. And the trick is to, uh, in Minecraft, is kind of just tear yourself upwards. You know, see how most of the world is tiered? And uh, I think, uh, no, that looks funky right there. We gotta, we gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. There, there. Now see how I kind of created this tiered effect? And that looks a lot more natural than a wall. Yeah, so we also need to take away this one and this one. Those will be our fence, uh, what are they called? Our fence gates. Our fence gates are going to go right there. And let's go make more fences. And uh, I'm going to burn through my wood. I really am. And I'm thinking about going and collecting uh, birch and oak for our ma our use on sticks. Because, you know, we don't, we haven't used any of those materials yet. So that will probably be a wise decision. And let's get an even four stacks and another two. 
and create ourselves a couple of fence gates. Oh, I didn't make enough. Darn it. I forget that it requires four to make a fence gate. Okay, we're back, guys. I uh, had to go there for a moment, and that worked out perfectly because it was just, it, it worked as a natural cut. So now I added in our fence gates, as you obviously just saw me do. I, I'm reinforcing the obvious here today. And our cows need to be cut off from the rest of our river here. Because we don't want our cows getting too rowdy. They don't want to disturb the, the natural habitat. Uh, because when our cows are climbing up and down mountains and swimming, they, they tend to get a little rowdy. And we, do, we don't want rowdy cows. Because rowdy cows will cause a nuisance for my neighbors, which I don't have yet. But they, they do. They cause nuisance. Cows are nuisances sometimes. Oh, that looks funky, doesn't it? Oh, gosh. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Let's let's go like this. Put in a dirt block. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. And you know what? I think... Hmm, I don't know. Let's just get that up there. Like so. And it's getting nighttime. That's a good thing that it's getting nighttime because now we can go sleep in our once destroyed bed. And these, these fences right here are just to... Uh, make the cows from hopping out because you know it's going to be it would be weird if they were to jump out like that but you know the possibility is always there and when you give cows any possibility they oh ow they take it and there look at this nice little cow arena here that we have made and I, I don't think we're going to have a light post on this one I really don't and just got to hurry up here before the night time comes and yeah that looks nice Let's go and sleep and gather some torches, and we're going to lure these little bad boys down into the to the area. Oh, it's daytime already. Oh, that, my nights always go so fast in Minecraft. And uh, let's take that iron, move it with the rest of our iron, grab our wheat, grab some... I guess we can take the brick out of here that we... Uh, the rest of our smelted brick. We got a ton of it once we get the, the blue stuff. And create a couple more of those and those. And voila, some porches. All right, cows, it's your big day. Come on, let's go. Cows, come on, let's go. Come with me, my brethren. Come with me, Mr. Cows. This way, I'm going to breed you like you've never been bred before once you get out here. Or you'll just walk over the edge. That's all right, too. All right. Now, while you make babies and have nice and peaceful mommy and daddy time, I'm closing the doors. Ha. Yay! We got cows, and we can now light up these guys. All right. So our cows... They're going to grow to be big and strong because they have mountains to climb. They will also never die of thirst because I gave them water. And the only thing I could possibly miss is feeding them on a regular basis. So, oh, we don't have any seeds on us. But once I get some seeds on us, we're going to plant some wheat uh, maybe right over there. So they have some nice grub to always munch on. And our cows, they should, be, they should grow up to be nice and healthy cows for my slang. If you are not catching the sarcasm, uh, yes, I know you do. You can be as harsh as you want to the animals in this game. It does not matter. <laughs> I just wanted to make you guys sure of that. But it's always kind of fun to, you know, play around in that aspect. And look it. I don't even need a gate. I can just... Hello, cows! I can just come and enter whenever I please. Because I'm the owner of the cows. So, I wanted to thank you guys and girls for watching. I hope you had a nice day. Your nice Monday afternoon. Uh, I knew, I know I said there's going to be inversion videos coming out, but uh, with my uncle's uh, recent passing and the funeral, I haven't had much time to play it, and I'm having a ton of fun playing here for you guys. So have a nice day. We're going to log off with the cows here. If you, Oh, what? Oh, he just swam underneath there. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we just lost a baby cow.
Did we lose both baby cows? I think we lost both baby cows. No. Oh man. Oh, we're gonna have to baby proof this. All right. Well, this will be baby proofed by the end of or the starting next episode. I'm going to do probably some caving next episode because I need resource badly. And I was going to probably do a little bit of caving today, too, but uh, none of the resources that I actually needed ever showed up. Uh, I never actually found a good cave. I just found some surface resources. And the caves that I did find, well, they led to nothing. So, if you had a nice day, please go down and hit that like button to mourn the death of our fellow cow. And uh, have a nice day, mates. Cheerio! And bye bye. I'm baby proofing, baby proofing. We cannot have those babies escaping and dying very slowly by drowning. Da da bop bum bum. There we go. Very nice. Have a nice day, guys. See you later.